Hello, YouTube. This is Stone Monk Gamer of the Mortal Realms podcast, uh, multicast, YouTube channel, etc. Um, I'm responding to Vince Venturella's uh, topic of the week. And the topic is movement shenanigans. Are they good or bad for Age of Sigmar? Um, a little anecdote. Um, back while 8th edition was kind of coming to an end and we knew that there was something coming, we didn't know what. Um, we thought it was 9th edition. The, I was on a podcast uh, as a guest, and, and the question was, was posed, what would you be most excited about uh, in, if they added a 9th edition? And, and my response was um, about movement. And, and in 8th edition, movement was so important, so important that it, it would make or break your game. Um, and I don't know that I was great at movement. I enjoyed the movement phase, but I wasn't great at it. Um, and I wanted to... I kind of hoped that 9th edition would have some counter-movement shenanigans. Um, ways of kind of pushing models out of, uh, um, you know, out of their, their track or being able to swap or, or sidestep or do some things that um, would allow you to counter somebody's movement with, you know, and not be railroad or stuck. Um, and so um, when 9th uh, uh, edition did not drop and Age of Sigmar came and we were removed from movement trays and that sort of thing. I think just even the ability to move models freely has been a real positive for the, the cinematic feel on the table for individual models becoming uh, you know, more important and, and the ability to create formations and take up uh, board space in ways that, that you couldn't do in, in ninth edition that both um, strengthen how, much, how important movement is but can also allow you to bypass, wiggle through, um, get around uh, those kinds of things, even if they take you time. But you're you're never stuck in a corner like you it felt like you used to be, um, uh, like literally stuck in corners. So um, you know, a couple of things that I think uh, examples that I think have been really good um, and to kind of emulate what I was looking for. So the slaughter priest out of the bloodborne, um, bloodbound. Uh, has an ability that lets you kind of summon or beckon uh, another model or hero or unit uh, towards you. Um, and so that's really cool to kind of be able to pull uh, another model out of the coherency or the positioning that they were comfortable with. I think that's fantastic. Um, I really like how um, Skinks and I think the Sky Wardens of the Caradron Overlords are able to retreat out of combat um, because, the, again, the your enemy thinks you, they have you pinned down and you're able to move out of it. Um, I think that there could be cool to have some other defensive uh, type of movement that lets you um, uh, just kind of bypass or kind of feels like you're, you're sneaking out of, of movement. And so one of those um, is, uh, you know, the, uh, there's a zinc spell that lets you swap uh, heroes or something to that effect. So where the, your enemy thought you were, you're actually someplace else. Um, so, uh, you know, um, one of the things that's, that I like uh, very much in, in 40K is this uh, kind of situation where certain flyers uh, can only be attacked by other flyers. Um, it creates just this dynamic where your movement characteristic gives you special access to another type of movement uh, or, or kind of a, a different tier of battle, which is really interesting. Now, I don't know if you want to go to full, like, three-dimensional, uh, vertical, you know, uh, horizontal spacing uh, and measurement, etc. But um, I think it, it, it'd be cool to find some variations on flying uh, that may be, um, you know, a fly that was a shorter range but lets you just bypass other models. Um, I really like the Palador ability um, that gives you the aether, um, to ride the eth etheric winds um, and you can, but you can only move in a straight line straight line it's it's like 66 or 76 like you can get it up there um which is a huge advantage but you're you're on a on rails um but you can pass through other units it's not like fly uh but you can for that type of movement you can pass through um and so maybe you know uh, some ways of changing these characteristics and bringing variety because i think the number one thing that these um, different types of movement do is bring character to the units they make uh, you know, the destruction movement uh, that lets you get wherever you want to on the board does the same thing as a lightning strike for the Stormcast, but it feels totally different. 
uh, and that feels totally different than the the magmic tunneling that the fire slayers do and maybe that's just in the description maybe some of that's just in kind of how it is but but some of it's packed into the mechanics um so i would absolutely um you know with with flyers um the Caradron overlord and rumors of there being more flyers down the road um i think just finding ways to to move in in the space um or or how you move and then do something so when you can um uh, embark and debark maybe you know so just it's movement plus uh some sort of rule um so i really do like them i, I like them a lot and i think they're they're spread out enough um the you know order has probably the most um uh, then then chaos then destruction uh death has uh and and chaos too has summoning and i don't think we we see that enough as a movement shenanigan uh summoning uh, not only is it a movement shenanigan, but it's a list building shenanigan. But the ability to um, take and, and just not decide ahead of time what models you want on the board, take a little bit of risk uh, by having to to summon them, and then build your list on the fly as the as the battlefield develops. Um, I don't know that I'm, you know, I like the idea of it. Uh, there's a lot of brain crunch in there. Uh, I like pretty casual games at the table. Um, but, you know, there's also shenanigans there because uh, when I first started playing summoning, I thought I had to keep my the, the unit within that 18-inch uh, bubble of my caster. But I don't. I can just one part of one model needs to be set up there. And so now I can put down a unit and have it kind of reach out in a different way beyond that 18 inches. Um, so that's just the m minimum distance that I need between me and uh, that unit, uh, my caster and that unit. And so that gives me a t that gives you a ton of board control. So, you know they they they're all different. They all have their um, their flavor, and I we want more of that. So when we're getting elves, you know what is that? Does that mean that they're jumping? They're not flying in the same way that uh, uh, you know a ship does or that a bird does. But maybe they're jumping over units. They can they can charge through um, you know another unit. Uh, past them or through them to get to the unit behind them, right? They can break the ranks because they're flipping over top of them and, and just being super lithe. Or maybe um, they've got, you know, extra pile-in is a fantastic movement shenanigan. The Yetis having the ability to, to be within six inches to do a pile gives you some really cool stuff. You know, if they hit a little harder, it'd be even cooler. Um, and then you got, you know, um, Corgus Cole who can, can charge uh, eight inches um, after being within uh, three inches. But, you know... And I think there's a few other things, uh, uh, tree revenants maybe, or spites. Anyway, any time where you just get get to take something and move it further on the board, any of the, the hero phase, the shooting phase, um, uh, you know, the there's another movement shenanigans with the horse uh, skeleton horse archers from Tomb Kings that in the shooting phase they could be moving, and in the moving phase they can be shooting. Um, and I'm sure there's a couple more like that. Um, so... Yeah, I mean, I, I think it just adds variety. I mean, our favorite thing to do is to move the models, uh, I think so, even more so than shooting with them and hacking with them and that sort of thing. So um, I think it just adds a lot of life and vigor to Age of Sigmar, and I want to see more of it. And every new um, line that comes out, uh, I'm, always, I'm always interested in seeing how do they move. Uh, where do they go? Where do they want to be on the board? Um, so... Bring on the movement shenanigans. Bring on the flavor it brings to the to the units, and bring on uh, kind of the the um, mental puzzles that it, it puts on the on the battlefield. So, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks f Vince for posing uh, such a question. Uh, please like and sub subscribe, um, and check out the other things on our channel um, here as we're we're growing and, and adding more things. So, uh, audio sayonara. See you later.